Hey guys, but today I'm going to be showing you guys the full transformation move with the combo of fast kick move and the phoenix root. And guys, make sure to like and subscribe and let's begin. So, this is basically the same thing as the cannon move except the fast kick which also literally makes you uh, go much faster in the game. Like, there you go. It gave you a massive speed boost, as you just saw there. And there you go again. You could beat some people in a race with this. And also, it's also a powerful move in the game. I recommend having this. And, uh, guys, make sure to like and subscribe, and let's begin. It's a very powerful move. It it gives you a speed boost. If you're playing with a friend and you guys are doing a race and your friend is beating you, you could just get a massive speed boost and maybe beat them in a race. Like, you just saw how quick that was. I think for a few seconds it's faster than the light flight in the game for a few seconds i think it's faster like this slingshot move in the rubber fruit it's like about faster than a light fruit of the light flight move i think it's faster than that otherwise known as the shiny flight which is the awakened version i think it's faster for a few seconds but if you're going against someone that fast usually they'll beat you but you'll get a speed boost and go up ahead, but I wouldn't give too much an advantage because you slow down. But the uh, thing about this move is that it speeds you up and it has a very fast cooldown. And uh, since it has a very fast cooldown, you could do this continuously, leaving to a really fast... Uh, race that's what this does it's very overpowered i recommend it And soon after I'm done with the uh, Phoenix Fruit, I'm going to switch to Light. This is a very fast, uh, so the only problem is the cooldown is not fast enough. Otherwise, you might be able to beat a Light player, well, a Light user in a race. You might be able to beat them. So, this move is, it does do a lot of damage, like, I'm gonna attack this enemy right here. There we go, it did 3000 damage. And he's almost dead, and... Okay, one more hit, he's almost dead, you can barely see the hotbar. For his health, you can barely see the bar. So this is a very useful move, a lot of people use it. It also gives you time to run away if you need to go run away. If you need to, that this move is overpowered. You could escape much faster than usual. Like that, you just saw it move so quick. The, the problem is the cooldown. It's it's too uh, it's not it's not short enough the cooldown. You're already going fast with the Phoenix route, but you can go faster by using this. It's even in its name, fast kick. It's in its name. So, it does use up some energy, so 
we can be overpowered and so yeah i recommend this it's powerful and uh yeah it makes a good gom combo too it, it literally the full transformation gives it a boost it gives it a boost i think okay let's find a 3012 damage i think okay no it's the same it's the same but it goes much faster the kick goes much faster it's the same amount but the other moves it's a different amount like this one 3848 transformation and weight wait for it and then 4,768, there we go. Wait, okay, so this can be overpowered in some ways. It's useful, yeah. There's a lot of things you can do with this. Like, let's take this and then you could hit them really fast so that they can't hit you before you hit them. This is overpowered and you could just fly around so they can't even hit you and then you just hit them again. This is what you could do. They, they can't even hit you almost, unless if they're using a special attack. That is fast enough. That one wasn't fast enough, I just stopped. Like this, they can't even get me most likely. Like, they could try all they want. Most likely, they won't be able to get me. Usually, they won't. Like that. They just missed. So, this can be used in many ways. There's other ways that you can use it. And this is the last combo for the Phoenix Fruit. And, yeah. In the next uh, video, I will be doing... I will show you guys the glitch some of the glitches you can do in the game for the phoenix fruit with the full transformation and then i will go to light fruit and then back to my main fruit buddha after light and guys that's all i can say about this fruit and guys make sure to like and subscribe and bye guys bye